Hi Leo, how are you doing? Welcome to your December reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your love and your support. I appreciate you and I hope that you're having a great day. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the month of December. See what you can expect, get you some insight, get you some guidance, and we'll see what's going on. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, let's get into this reading, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you and what you can expect for this month ahead. We have the Sea Serpent coming out, which is a very kind of like watery energy. Show me clearly what's going on for Leo in December. Wow. Cosmic Egg. You got Double Spirit energy coming out. And we also have the Firefly and the Unicorn. You guys have Triple Spirit coming out. There's only seven of those cards in this deck so like i just gotta say whoever i'm speaking to you are divinely protected like seriously straight up especially in december you have a lot of energy from your angels and your ancestors they're around you so much right now like a big warm hug like you're just being involved and wrapped in i don't even wrapped a big hug a big hug wrapped around you with this like warm energy from spirit i don't know i don't, I don't even have the words y'all i'm not even gonna lie today my words are just not coming out you even have the black egg taking a peek at the bottom of the deck you have four spirit energies coming through you're in alignment leo you are in alignment and you are being prepared for something big because there is a cycle that's closing out for you in December. It's helping you heal. It's helping you make peace. It's helping you just like set yourself free from something that was an ongoing cycle. You were kind of chasing your tail. You were just like going in circles and circles and circles. Um, finding yourself in situations that were very repetitive or similar themes, similar um, endings or lessons or you know you just you notice that there are these patterns but it seems like you're breaking some sort of pattern um and with the firefly this is where you're seeing new possibilities new glimpses of your future of what could potentially become your long-term future so the firefly is a very kind of flighty energy i'm not gonna lie it's not the most stable or consistent or long lasting it this is about also just like you may have short bursts of strong or powerful energy that will transform your life it's kind of it's very potent it's a very potent kind of energy where you will almost like sometimes you wake up and you see things from a new perspective or you just have a epiphany or things just click or just make sense or you wake up one day and your feelings about something are either gone or have changed or you know something drastically has shifted and with the firefly coming out here it's like you're being drawn to the light or you are there's something that you're being pursued to follow or you're being asked to take a chance and your intuition has been guiding you to do this we have the unicorn which is the third eye so this is connecting to your spiritual mission your soul's mission um and it, you may feel a little intimidated by it with the mouse but this is something that you need to just continue to follow through because there's a lot a lot of um potential here with the deer the deer is kind of like the empress is like there's a lot of growth that can come out of this but you're needing to really follow through and take the steps and take this serious and again we have the tiger underneath that it's like you're you're being guided towards something you really are being guided towards um this new beginning and it might be a slow process with the turtle as well so that might be kind of like a slow process that's unfolding but you need to trust yourself and know that you are in alignment and there's some cycles cleaning up, karma clearing out, and um, you're making space for new opportunities. So I love that for you. And it feels, I don't know, it just feels very positive and uplifting and it feels like you're free from something. You finally reached completion um, or in December you're completing an ongoing cycle that was dragging out for a long time yeah it feels very much lighter now like a huge weight has been lifted so yeah show me clearly what's going on for leo in december 2023 what do my leos need to know 
or be aware of. Show me clearly. What's going on for Leo? Beautiful. Two of Cups. Oh. Devil at the bottom. <laughs> I spoke too soon. So here we have you and another person. There's some sort of connection. And there's something that is kind of toxic or is this connected to the cycle that's completing or closing out let me look what's underneath the devil the world yep yep so there is a toxic cycle coming to an end between two people could be with a capricorn we also have virgo energy with the hermit i see you taking some space and then we have the empress which is taurus and libra i see you taking space or you're gonna need some time to just kind of like find your footing and ground yourself after this like for some there could have been some sort of like obsession or like control or power play power tripping i don't know but this devil will not be here anymore say goodbye to this devil because the devil is gone the devil has been freed the devil has gone to the lights all right go to the lights go to the lights <laughs> like if, even if you feel like there's negative energy around you you're like go to the lights go to the light oh shit what is this the magician okay so what are you attracting here there's something that you're trying to manifest or create with the universe show me clearly what's going on for leo in december all right so what's going on for leo eight of pentacles so you are working you are busy you know this is probably gonna be a busy month for you leo you have a lot on your plate there's a lot that you want to like get done there's just like a lot that you're dealing with but you're determined you're focused you're putting in that effort you're putting in that work you're consistent and your efforts paying off there is some sort of exchange of energy i'm seeing six of pentacles at the bottom um so you might be building something with another person i mean we do with the two of cups out here so other people are definitely involved or a part of this or are influencing your habits and your behaviors and um even transactions is just what i heard okay so whatever but so the six of pentacles there is this like give and receive so what you're putting out comes back to you be mindful right especially as you're in manifestation mode where you are like a magnet and you're calling things in you're attracting things towards you very easily and very effortlessly and so it, it kind of doesn't it doesn't feel like there's a lot of work that you need to do it kind of just is it's pretty easy or it comes to you naturally there's something that you're working on or there's something that you're manifesting and it comes to you very easily and effortlessly and very like naturally so yeah it's very smooth we have the six of pentacles to the nine of pentacles some of you um this is about your health or there's improvements when it comes to your health your fitness your body your physical strength or even your confidence um, we have the moon underneath that. There's some sort of result that hasn't come in just yet, or you may not be seeing all the results at this moment, but it's on its way. It could be around Aquarius season with the star. So maybe the full, it's interesting because we have the moon, maybe by the full moon in Leo. So not this month, but next month we'll have the full moon in Leo. Maybe that's where you see this um, come to fruition, whatever it is that you're working on or building or creating. Um, may very much be coming to fruition by like the end of January of 2024. So keep up the good work. Keep up the good attitude because it's paying off. Not a sword is trying to flip out, but it's, it's a big stack. So I'm not going to take that. What is Leo working on here? Judgment. Some of you, you're working on like your judgment or, you know, <laughs> judgment on yourself or judgment on other people. There could be some things from your past being brought back up or you're look, looking back at, reflecting, healing from so that you don't repeat the past or you don't repeat what went wrong or, you know, you don't want to repeat those lessons again. So you're breaking the cycle, you're breaking the pattern. But so spirit is coming through. There's some sort of divine timing with events that are playing out we have the ace of wands at the bottom so there's some sort of new beginning here some sort of new fire that's being lit and it's about divine timing that's coming out here 
So there could be certain plans that you're making for the, the future. Let's see, underneath this Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. You're making these future plans that are going to benefit you and your loved ones. I'm seeing a lot of enjoyment, a lot of fulfillment, but there's something about the timing coming up. Yeah, Three of Swords. And underneath that, the High Priestess. You're carrying a lot of hurt or pain, but you're keeping it hidden. Or this is bringing up things from your deep subconscious. Things that maybe you dream about, but you don't talk about, you don't share about with other people. Things that you may just keep with you to your deathbed, right? There's these things going on internally that is creating discomfort and pain. And you see the truth, or you're seeing the truth now, and it's leading you to something new here. I don't know. Weird. Well, not really, but just... I don't know what else to add to it. <laughs> so we'll just pull some more. What else is going on for Leo in December 2023? So Eight of Pentacles and Judgment. You could be working on like self-improvements, having more compassion towards your past self. You only knew what you knew back then. You tried your best. That's all that matters. And if you didn't try your best, well, moving forwards, you can do better. You can do differently. You know, don't let your past hold you back what's going on for leo we have the two of wands so crossroad energy so that's why we have judgment and the two of wands you're at a crossroad leo or in december there's a you're at two you have two different paths that you could take and each one will lead to very different outcomes and so this is important that you don't rush into this, even if it's involving other people or another relationships with the two of cups. So you have two twos out here. Twos might be relevant for you. You might be seeing two, two, two. Um, anyways, king of swords is at the bottom. So be very clear and be very decisive of what you want. What are you focusing your energy towards? What do you want to come out of this situation? We have the empress and the four of wands. And then the two of pentacles okay see and then we have the ten of pentacles underneath that so it's like once you decide then this can fully transform and flourish and bloom into something beautiful the empress and the four of wands this is stable this is secure if this is a connection or relationship this can be very long lasting this may be talking about pregnancies or marriage or some shit like that right this is something that could be very very long lasting long 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 potential and it's to be taken very seriously. This is not to be taken with a grain of sand. Whatever this is, it's very significant. It holds a lot of meaning, a lot of value to you. And with the King of Swords, there's something that you need. You need to look at some sort of fact here, or some sort of truth, or you need to be very like the, you're needing to act with integrity and um, responsibility. You need to be very sure of this. Whatever this choice is, you need to look at all the facts. Um, you know, like with the Empress, she's pregnant, so it's like pregnancies, right? You gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. <laughs> you gotta prepare yourself. You gotta make sure you got all those diapers. Make sure you got all that baby food. You know, preparing for a birthing, preparing to bring in a living being, right? That's some serious shit to prepare yourself for. So that may not be literal, all right? That might not be literal, but whatever this is, that's going to be birthed into your reality in the near future from now to full moon in leo it's a very big deal it's very significant and it's coming to you fast so <laughs> spirit is wanting you to kind of tighten up a little bit and like plan okay and plus we're gonna be in mercury retrograde season this is a time where we need to plan ahead and prepare ourselves for what's to come because it's gonna be big and we need to know what we're getting involved and what we're getting ourselves into. So it's pretty deep stuff. Let's do some clarifying here and let's see what else we need. And I'm going to use this deck. I'm going to use it for a while. Give me a second. Oh, and I just knocked this one over. Maybe Spirit wants me to use this deck because it fell on the floor. I wasn't going to use it for you, but okay, I guess I will. All right, what, does, what does Leo need to know in December? What can Leo expect? Any insight? Wisdom Goddess for Leo, Sun, Moon, Ising, Venus. Because for some reason this deck wants me to pull from it, alright? What's going on for Leo? We have Be Bold and Make the First Move. Wow, wow! Full Moon and Leo, don't let your pride get in the way. 
so your pride might be stopping you from making the first move or your there's like fear of failure fear of judgment you know like fear of just like making a mistake or how people are gonna see you or you don't want to be seen as like weak or vulnerable or something like that we have a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries at the bottom yeah you're being pushed in this new direction where you need to take some sort of risk or take some sort of jump or a leap of faith your pride might be getting in the way it could be blocking you spirit is saying don't let your pride get in the way be bold make the first move take the jump and like i said from now to the full moon in leo this is where it's taking place whatever this is um so i guess that's why spirit wanted me to use that deck i wasn't even planning on but i guess that was necessary for somebody and let me first of all let's look into this two of cups i know earlier it was like it was the uh, devil and the world so maybe someone that you're connecting with right now is helping you heal from patterns and cycles of old relationships old traumas and pains and woundings that you are unlearning and breaking free from and so someone new that you could be dealing with or someone that you're connecting with at this moment or are with at this moment or someone that you may meet again trying to cover all spectrums of whoever's listening the singles those are that are in a relationship those that are healing whatever the fuck right trying to cover all of all avenues for y'all but there is some sort of connection here that is helping you heal and that's the sea serpent in the cosmic gate is helping you heal from certain cycles that were ongoing and maybe lifelong so anyways tell me about this two of cups for leo in december 2023 two of cups for leo the sun there's your energy leo could be connected with another leo or someone with leo placements tell me more about this two of cups some of you, you're calling in your soulmate with the magician to the two of cups. You are attracting the love of your life. Two of pentacles. We also have the four of wands reverse. There's something that's not the most stable. Okay, so it, and this is clarifying this two of cups. So if there's a connection here um, that is you're, you're dealing with at this moment, although maybe it makes you happy, something about this isn't the most stable or the most concrete or it's very shaky. The foundation between you and someone is very shaky. I, whoever i'm speaking to this message may not be for everybody okay just saying but this is representing instability or a decision that needs to be oh wrong card a decision that needs to be made in order to solidify this foundation all right even when we look at the sun this horse looks tired as fuck like exhausted so there could be something that's very draining or tiring or it's like requiring a lot of effort and you're kind of running off you're they're running off steam like hmm okay we have the hierophant at the bottom which is typically about some form of commitment or higher level um a promise a contract this can be the card of marriage um partnership things like that this can also bring up you know your religious beliefs or spirituality you know promises being made though and then we have the world reverse incomplete cycles and then this the three of swords reverse which is representing that hurt the pain and things that you may have a difficult time letting go or healing from or moving on from or even as you are healing from it you may still find yourself unconsciously ending up in similar experiences or similar situations that replay the same outcome just in different places different people different different scenarios and then we have the ace of wands reverse which is kind of like an energy of burnout hmm feels complicated a little bit <laughs> all right so let's see what the magician eight of pentacles is what are you building what are you working towards what are you creating tell me the magician and the eight of pentacles for leo the magician eight of pentacles for leo sun moon rising venus in december two of wands at the bottom double confirmation just saying eight of wands reverse so have you been experiencing some sort of personal block or stagnancy or setback so that's typically what the eight of wands reverse is about high priestess if so it's most likely internal this may be something going on internally or even self-sabotage 
or you holding back, right? Maybe intuitively your intuition is saying, okay, and it could also be just the timing too. There could just be something about the timing coming up. But intuitively, high priestess, you may feel like you have to hold up or wait or... Let me see. Underneath the high priestess, we have the page of wands and two of swords reverse. Hmm. That didn't that didn't really explain it, in my opinion. Magician Eight of Pentacles for Leo. Knight of Cups reverse. Is my deck upside down? It ain't. Yeah, no, there's something here. Maybe you're working through becoming more like emotionally available normally the knight of cups reverse is representing someone who could be a bit of a player or someone who could be immature at times or they're very charming and they have a lot of love to give but they're very like uh, what's the word very stingy when it comes to giving or showing their love or appreciation this is someone who can be very insecure and act and behave in ways that mirror those insecurities and so it's like they have a lot of love but they don't know how to express it or they don't know how to yeah just they don't know how to express it in the healthier ways and so it creates some sort of block so maybe that's you, <laughs> maybe that's you, or that could be someone that you're dealing with, or that could be representing a past version of you, or something that you're working through. Talk about the Magician, Eight of Pentacles. That's maybe what you're working on here, is trying, oh, right, because the Eight of Wands reverse, that's like putting a stop, or like putting an end to something. And what are you putting an end to? Those immature ways of being, or behaving. Queen of Cups in the reverse fell out oh my god and then the three of swords yeah like in the queen of cups reverse this can be someone who this is like someone who can be zero to 100 when giving love and affection and time and energy they can be from zero to 100 they can be very very loving and nurturing but it always comes with a price or it's like okay i'm gonna give you love or i'm gonna give you my attention but now you owe me something now I control you now you are mine and you i'm the master of you it can be a very smothering controlling nasty kind of energy it can be very toxic like you know think about the mother right the mother gives life to a child and can nurture and heal and like raise this child but the mother can also hold on and not want that child to grow not want that child to have their own life their own experiences make their own choices it can be very very controlling and limiting that's what came out earlier when the two cups fell out right we have oh beautiful connection and then at the bottom it was the devil right so there's that the restrictive even if that we're talking about some sort of connection here where it's like there's lots of love but at the same time it's like someone doesn't want you to be independent or have your own life or have your own life outside of this person or vice versa you don't want someone to have their own life outside of you that can be very controlling and toxic whether that's your intention or not whoever the fuck i'm speaking to and again this is being this is a pattern rooted in fear rooted in pain and rooted in hurt and trauma and this is something that I think whoever I'm speaking to, you become aware of. Nine of Swords in the reverse, and you're trying to like improve on it, work on it. Maybe have failed in the past or had... And that's the thing, healing and stuff like that, it's a process. You're not going to get it first try. It's going to take... Think of it like a, a spiral staircase, right? You probably are most likely still going to be on this, this spiral, this cycle. You're slowly unwinding it. You're slowly working through it but like it's not just going to be overnight you're going to master it and be a completely changed person and undo that not undo that habit cycle it's going to take a t it's like a lifelong process y'all especially depending on how deep this this root is or like <sighs> i don't know but keep it up okay keep it up y'all whoever i'm speaking to keep going keep pushing let's take a look into you know this crossroad that you're at two of wands because now you got some sort of crossroad or you have some sort of decision to make two of wands for leo what's this decision or what's this crossroad coming up
Is this upside down? Yes. Okay. Two of wands for Leo. We have the page. It's funny. I check. Is this deck upside down? No. And then the card flips out and it's in the reverse. Okay. We, I mean, we take reverses here, but I just want to make sure that my cards are on the right direction. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay. We have a page of cups reverse. So you... Let me pull some more. Hold on. Let me just be quiet. Five of Wands reverse. Literally all the cards coming out in reverse. Two of Wands Emperor. <sighs> then we have the Moon, Ace of Wands, and the Two of Cups. <clears throat> and what's underneath that Two of Cups? Shit. The World. And there we have that Nine of Swords again. Okay. So basically what I'm seeing here, Leo, is that you have a choice on how you're gonna approach these relationships or people in general it doesn't even just have to be about love and romance like all types of relationships here we have the emperor where you are having to there's a situation you got to de-escalate or needs to calm down there's an opportunity for resolutions but with the page of cups this needs to be this is where your pride could be getting in the way, right? Don't let pride get in your way. This is where your pride might be making you not make a move or express how you really feel. There's this page of cups in the universe. You're not telling your this is an immature energy. All the page all the cups energy that came out, the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and now the Page of Cups, they all came out in the reverse. This is someone who struggles with like truly expressing their emotions or being vulnerable it's a struggle this is something that can be resolved or worked through with effort and with consistency and maturity um but this feels very with the emperor emperor you're not going to see an emperor cry you're not going to see an emperor ball and break down and tears and snot rags and you know <laughs> blowing their nose and crying to their friends and family you're not going to see an emperor cry there's something about like you wanting to appear tough and strong and you are strong and you are tough but like i don't know there's like this is and this is to clarify the two of wands which is like some sort of choice or decision maybe spirit just wants you to take a pause maybe it's not even that maybe it's not even like oh massive crossroad it's just like maybe spirit wants you to just like sit with your emotions for a moment okay because you're trying you're like oh i'm in control of my emotions are you really though you're like, I don't let my emotions get the best of me. Are you really, though? Or are you just avoiding your emotions? Are you just trying to put a wall up or block them? I don't know. This is such a weird-ish reading. I'm not going to try and, like, overthink it, though. This is what's coming through. We have the moon, which is Pisces energy. So this is bringing up those deeper emotions. This is also connecting to your intuition. This is bringing up the unknown, what's beyond the scenes what's going on internally that you're not review revealing to others with the ace of wands and then the two of cups so what's not being said or what's not being expressed because think about it this page of cups reverse is representing lack of expression or someone holding back from actually saying what they want to say um and probably in fear that's going to create some sort of conflict too so oh, okay i'm not going to say anything that's going to be the solution that's going to make things better like not really oh that's gonna keep the peace maybe in the situation but internally maybe not for you so anyways so what you're not seeing or what's not being revealed or expressed ace of wands and the two of cups some sort of desire um some sort of passion emotions and feelings and then we have the world underneath that so it kind of feels like dead end if you don't express how you feel then it's a dead end and pride will do that to you whether it's an apology you have to give page of cups reverse you maybe you owe someone an apology and you haven't given it or vice versa take it however it applies maybe there's someone who owes you an apology maybe this is a cross watch flip the rules kind of reading hell i don't know but page of cups that can definitely talk about the need to apologize and maybe someone isn't and involving a situation where there's some sort of conflict and there's the need for some sort of resolution and healing but someone won't get off their high horse they're like no you must come to me i'm the emperor you must come to me i don't know there's a bit of a stubborn energy with this it <laughs> it's just i don't know dude this is the reading this may not be for you if it's not for you all good there may be there might be a few people who are like that <sighs> come at me in the comments okay all right <sighs> 
I don't know, Leo. This is where I'm going to leave your reading. I hope this is helpful and insightful. I don't know what I'm going to call this. I don't even know. But I guess at the end of the day, don't let your pride get in the way. Spirit is wanting people to make the first move. It might be humbling. It might be a humbling experience for whoever this is for. But yeah, good luck. <laughs> I appreciate you. Sending you lots of love and light. And I'm going to let you go. Bye, Leo.